Hello, my name is Kenneth Perry. I'm your technology expert. Welcome to my channel, K Perry Global. Today, we're going to talk about how to use Windows 10, or sorry, Windows 11 on your Surface or on any Windows device for the most part. And so I'm going to share my screen with you just so we can uh, take place. But before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for... Uh, for <laughs> This is weird. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell uh, to subscribe to this channel. And then uh, if you have any comments, make sure that you put them in the comment section, right? I would love 100 likes today, if that's possible. Uh, but thank you to, to everyone who subscribed to my channel, everyone who's left comments and liked or just any type of engagement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get into the content. So I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, let's go. So this is Windows 11. What I love about Windows 11 is that it's uh, it's modernized, right? It's uh, central to everything that you you would need in an operating system for the hybrid workplace because modern work happens anywhere where people can be creative and productive while using Surface and Windows 11. All right, so you can see the change here in the in the Start menu, and you see your your apps. Uh, in your taskbar uh, located in the middle versus over to the, the left hand side uh, when you click on the start button here you have all your applications that's you know pinned to the start button you also have your recommended applications so the apps that you've used or documents you've used already and then you have your power sleep shut down restart when you go when you select all applications you click that there you have all your applications in alphabetical order so you can actually pin these applications onto the start menu and they're going to be and they're going to be located towards the end of the start menu to give you an example if i wanted to pin say tv and movie i can right click well that's already pinned let's go with something that's probably not pinned here so let's say uh, let's say the snippet two i can right click on snippet two select pin to start and then when I go back, select the back button and, and scroll down, then the snippet two is located right there. So that's another way uh, to pin to the start menu and gain access to the things that matter to you the most in your start menu. You also have the search window right here. So when I click on search, you can type in whatever you want. So it's very rare that I go to the start menu to find what I'm looking for. I can just type whatever I want. So if I want camera, I can type camera click on camera and then it's going to open up the camera hello how you doing <laughs> that's funny all right so let's let's excited let's take that camera though it right here in the right hand corner where you have your maximize and minimize uh you no know, buttons here if you hover over the the windows button or that maximize button you have these widget, widgets right here and this shows you how to split the screen so if i click on this it's going to split the screen for you and I can open up another uh, application with just say the browser or so and then I can go back and then select the other side and now it optimizes the screen for you and provides you with multiple uh, multiple screens that you can multitask so even though I can take a picture here or film a video right here I can continue to browse the web on the left hand side and type in you know whatever websites I want. Now, if I want to get real savvy, I can start a new tab. And if I want to browse multiple screens, I can do so. And so then I have three screens open right at right now. And if I want to hover over, once again, the maximize button here. And if I wanted to have three, position this over here, it optimizes. So now I have three windows open at one time, giving me the ability to uh, you know multitask or do whatever I want to do I'm gonna close out the camera so I'm gonna open up another browser and I'm gonna slide this down here and let's do another browser so we can have four browsers open at one time now what I'm going to do that not what I'm going to do now is click on hover over the same button button and then click here 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 so now I have four browsers open at one time now that's huge that is huge so that's multitasking at its best multitasking at its best once again four windows open at one time so when i'm 
you know, if I want to go to this particular website here, but then I want to go to this website and do some shopping, but then I want to, you know, buy a computer from Microsoft, or if I just wanted to uh, do some Bing search or whatever, I have the ability to do four different things at one time and do some power browsing. Thank you for watching uh, how to uh, utilize Windows 11. This is just a short snippet here, but thank you for you know watching this. If you like the content, please you know subscribe to the channel, like, hit that bell for updates, and then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel and hit that bell once again for updates. All right, thank you. KP out. <laughs>